Hello and welcome to CultureCast. In this episode, we will be discussing UBU and the Truth Commission. First, some background information. It was written by Jane Taylor, a South African writer, playwright, and academic. She also wrote From South Africa, which is an anthology that documents the last decade of apartheid in South Africa. The Transplant Man was a novel about the life of a South African surgeon. She also has experience in photography and curated the exhibition's Fault Lines, which dealt with truth, and Holdings, which was about memory. Truth, reconciliation, and memory are major themes of her work. The setting of the play is in South Africa after the abolition of apartheid. The on-stage setting is very basic, with a screen backdrop for documentary and image clips. Words, phrases, and images on the screen create a surreal background. The focus is more on the character interaction than the setting. All the props, as in tables, chairs, etc., were brought on and off the stage only when they were the plot of the play starts with Ma Ubu suspecting that her husband, Pa Ubu, has been cheating on her. Pa Ubu actually spends his nights killing for the government with his three-headed dog, Brutus. Pa Ubu is advised by Niles, the all-knowing alligator puppet, to come clean before he is found out for his crimes. Ma Ubu discovers papers that document Pa Ubu's wrongdoings and is relieved that he was not cheating but trying to protect her. Pa Ubu decides to frame Brutus for his own crime so that he is cleared. Pa Ubu then goes to the TRC to testify against Brutus and clear his own name. In the end, Ma Ubu and Pa Ubu ride off together peacefully on a boat and plan to start with a clean slate. Throughout the play, witnesses come forth to the TRC and tell the stories of their murdered children as a result of the crimes of apartheid police like Pa Ubu. Apartheid played a huge role throughout the play. What is apartheid? It's when non-white South Africans, majority of the population, were forced to live in separate areas from whites and use separate public facilities and contact between the two groups were limited. It was created through the Population Act of 1950, which required that each inhabitant of South Africa be classified and registered in accordance with their racial characteristics. The first three categories to be added were Bantu, Black Africans, Colored, Mixed Race, and white. Later on, a fourth one was added, Asians. In 1951, the Bantu Authorities Act established a basis for homelands. It created a legal basis for the deportation of blacks into the designated homeland reserve areas and established tribes, regional, and territorial authorities. All political rights once held by Africans were restricted to their specific homeland. In order to enter these homelands, they were required to carry passbooks, which is similar to what we consider passports today. They contained fingerprints, photos, and information on the homelands they had, that they had access to. Protest versus the Public Safety Act and the Criminal Law Act of 1953 allowed the government to declare states of emergency and increase the penalties for protesting. It didn't matter if they were violent protests or not. Declaring state of emergency, a person could be detained without hearing by a low-level police officer for up to six months. Africans eventually became aliens in their own homeland. The apartheid law allowed the treatment of whites to surpass the blacks easily, known as the white supremacy. More about the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. It was established in 1996, based in Cape Town, South Africa. It seeks testimony from any survivors, casualties, or perpetrators of apartheid violence. Those who offered the entire truth of their actions could request to be pardoned for their crimes. It was considered to be unsuccessful by many because it was very trickable and an impossible task. People like Pa Ubu would beguile the TRC, claim patriotism, and get off scot-free. The play focuses on the central character, Pa Ubu. He is an apartheid perpetrator who is getting ready to appear before the TRC. The story follows his wrongdoings of the past and his involvement in the apartheid. It also follows the relationship with his wife. He is a symbol for what is wrong with Africa during this time period. He develops throughout the story by finally realizing his wrongdoings, but blames it on his friends instead of coming clean. Married to Pa Ubu is Ma Ubu. She assumes at the beginning of the play that Pa Ubu has been late frequently due to being involved with another woman. She does not develop much throughout the play. 
When she discovers what Pa Ubu is truly doing, she does not seem angry or against it, just happy he isn't cheating and sees his actions as protecting her. She is symbolic of the bystanders in Africa who, as long as they weren't directly affected, do not seem to take any action against the government. Other characters in the play are Niles, the crocodile handbag that is the source of all the information, Brutus, a three-headed dog which works as Pa Ubu's minions, and there are also testimonial characters. These characters are actually puppets. The majority of the characters in the play are represented as puppets. This allows for the characters to be more symbolic. By not having as many real actors, it creates a distance between the audience and the characters. Rather than seeing them as people and having emotional empathy towards the characters, the audience is forced to focus on what each puppet represents and their symbolic meaning. By having the testimonial characters not be represented by real actors, it allows the audience to focus more on the story and traumas being told, rather than the expressions of the actors. This gives the audience a greater ability to connect with the testimonial characters' stories and eliminates the chance of bias towards one character versus another. The use of puppets creates a sense of irony throughout the play. While the audience can see the people controlling the puppets, they play no actual role in the play. The irony of this is it's symbolic of how the government was able to easily control people but the direct result was seeing who actually perpetrated the crimes, rather than to look further and see the reasons why. Niles represents the media who is giving all the information about factual events. The three-headed dog represents all the people who were willing to help the cause without thinking twice about what would happen or the repercussions. Of it. Although Ubu and the Truth Commission was a short 17-page play with a basic plot, we found a lot of strong themes. The first one concerns truth and guilt. Pa Ubu says, Such a vision I had, great truth approaching a rope in its hand. This shows that if you choose to conceal versus reveal, the guilt itself will kill you. We can also see through an excerpt that Pa Ubu's conscience was killing him, as he thought Ma Ubu knew about the killings he was up to. For example, he thought she said, and then you can bury the bones. When she really said, dig over that patch at the back and clear out the stones. Another theme we found lies in loyalty and betrayal. One example is the extreme fraternity that Brutus displayed. For example, the three-headed dog exclaims, not any old dog is a man's best friend who would service and obey as he did intend. Yet, Pa Ubu is the one to, to betray Brutus and bring them for the killings. Another example is the strong loyalty that Pa Ubu shows. Although she suspects that Pa Ubu is cheating on her, she says, now I sit in the darkness and wait for his return. It seems as if the characters of the play display a fervent allegiance toward Pa Ubu. However, the favor isn't returned. His claims of patriotism and honorability are counterfeit. The theme of irony is displayed throughout the play. We found ourselves genuinely laughing with certain dialogue between the characters. However, this play isn't meant to be comical. Jane Taylor uses humor to poke at society. One example is when Ma Ubu says, I had no idea Pa was so important. This demonstrates that she would rather her husband kill people rather than cheat on her. Another example is when Niles says, a little killing here and there never hurt anyone. He says this, however, deadpan. This is Jane annotating how mad the idea was in the first place. A final example mimics and mocks modern relationships after Ma and pa, pa Ubu are fighting with each other, then quickly turn abrasiveness into endearment. In more terms of irony, the convictions of the three-headed dog are very cynical. The head of the political affairs was exonerated. This says that the politicians, the people who instructed the wrongdoings, get off scot-free. The head of the military was sentenced to 30 years in the military. This, however, is what a military man should have been doing all along. Finally, the head of the killings was sentenced to 212 years of imprisonment. He receives the harshest punishment, although he was the only one forced to commit the wrongdoings. There also seemed to be the symbol of an all-knowing eye throughout the play. A narration at the end of the play says, Towards the giant eye, the eye turns into a setting sun. It serves for the purpose that although Ma and Pa are, are sailing away, the guilt will still follow Pa Ubu. His patriotism hopes will not last very long. Finally, a relation to comparative literature. We found that this text really aligned with, this, with the little school and a secret in their eyes. It's related through the disappearing of citizens and government brutality. There was no closure for families. 
no chance for them to mourn. Mothers in Argentina would go to the plaza and hold up pictures of their loved ones just as witnesses in the play would share their stories. Jane Taylor said, individual narratives come to stand for the larger national narrative. History and autobiography merge. This explains personal versus co collective narratives and how trauma is unexpected and creates a fault in the narrative. This is also why the witnesses' voices aren't being acted out. Thank you for listening to our interpretation of Ubu and the Truth Commission.